Are you looking to create backups and perform restores for Oracle databases, but you're not an Oracle expert? No worries, with the Veeam Explorer for Oracle, we can easily restore the database back to an earlier point in time, to a transaction, or even to a table level. Let's take a look in the lab to see how we can easily do this. In the lab, I've already pre-created a backup job with Oracle uh, Virtual Machines inside. Let's take a quick look at the Virtual Machine. What you want to go to is Guest Processing. Make sure you have Application Aware Processing enabled. Click Applications. Select the Oracle Virtual Machine. Click Edit. And we'll see we have this Oracle tab up here. Here you want to have a credential with SysDB privileges. You want to enable the backup logs area in the event that you want to be able to do point in time restores. And finally, you can decide how long do you want to retain these log backups. Okay, let's cancel out of this. In the interest of time, I've already created a few backups. We can see we have two restart points. We have some Oracle log backups sitting here already. If we go to the production database and run a query here, run scripts, we can see there's already some contents inside this EMP table. And let's go ahead and drop that table. Table drop. Apply. We can run again just to see that now the table does not exist. How do we then perform a restore? Well, it's very easy. Select a virtual machine, application items, Oracle. In this case, we'll want to use the latest restore point. Click Next. Let's get the reason. Click Finish. And this will actually mount up the backup and open up the Veeam Explorer for Oracle inside. Here you can select the database. Uh, if you have more, of course, they'll all pop up here. Click Restore Database, and we can see here we have the option to restore to the latest state or to a point in time. Let's select point in time here. And here we have the option to say, okay, is it the latest point in time or do we have a specific point in time? And in the event that you want to go to a specific transaction, you would have to use this option down here, but then I would have to go to File Options and specify a staging server. So it would be up here, Options. Then we could specify the staging server here. Now, for the example here, I'll essentially just restore to the latest state. Now that the restore has finished, let's close down the Explorer and go back to the Oracle SQL Developer. We'll do a right click here, reconnect again. And we can see the EMP table is back. We can even run a query again. We can see the table contents is back again. Thank you for watching this video.